Mary's Missionary Church. As a place of happiness, a place of grace, a place of worship, a place of salvation. Who want children? Yeah. Come forward there. If you want a child, where is your husband? Okay. Go and stand there with your husband. Yeah. Bring your husband. You. I will tell you why you're not getting a child. You are the only person who needs prayer. Not this lady. And people will blame this lady. Anyway. You hear me? Amen. Huh? Because Satan has attacked you. So that you must not have a baby. And they have to blame this lady. So after prayer with you, where do you come from? It's okay. I'm from Bulobe in Matlabane. You can give birth. There are children and you. My brother, they have blocked him. They don't want him to have a child. Because he did what in his family, nobody has ever done it. It's true. Huh? It's true. I'm the only person to have a wedding. Huh? It's true. I'm the only person to have You did the wedding alone. Nobody went. So they tie you. It's true. Sometimes you don't. You don't feel like a man. It's true. It's true. It's true. I don't want to talk more than that. God has set you free today. Amen. This lady, this lady, she won't take long to be pregnant. Amen. Because you are free. You are free, sir. Sister, you don't need prayer. Don't worry. Go home. Oh, you're my visitor. All right. Don't worry. After visiting issue, Monday is Monday. It's one of the reasons why she visited. She's cried to have a baby. Can I get two people who want jobs here? Da! All of you, da! You are anointed. Can I get... Can you see what is still happening? Holy Spirit, bring them again. Bring them back here. Bring them here. All the people who are here, down here, bring them back. It's a rewind. No. No. It's a rewind. No. You know rewind? This is a rewind. You are blessed with jobs. Amen. Four people want to marry here. Yeah. Down. Come on, you demon. Fall down again. Look at my brother. Look at my brother. Look at me. I'm giving you this year only. Fall down again. Before I'm not yet finishing to talk, you are, you are standing. All these people will clap you. Okay, you can go. 
Fall down again. So whatever we say, it happened. This year is your year. Amen. Brother, look at that brother who's wearing a suit. Look at him there. Look how he's working. Look how that brother is working. Holy Spirit has catch him with his suit. I love Holy Spirit. Can you put a mic in him only? You hear what is happening to him. That is the Holy Ghost. You want to marry. Can you stand up? Let me see how you walk. Stand up. Let me see. The demon, that one. She will marry. That should be you, yes. Morotita. Look at this pastor. Look, look, watch. God is anointing him. I receive it. Okay, yeah. I receive it. I receive it. You have it. Amen. Can I anoint some people here? Amen. Yeah? Amen. Are you sure? Sure, sure, sure. Amen. Brother, come and take it. Would you wait this one. <laughs> hey. Uh. You, you put down the usher. <laughs> Brother, what is it? Brother, God loves you. Where do you come from? It's okay. Switzerland. 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 You are coming here for the first time? Second time. Second, come. Come to me. Come, come, brother. Come, this lady, come. You can see what is happening to you. Come, sister. That lady there. One, two, one, two. The one who was sick before. This one. God has healed you in Jesus' name. Amen. Bring her. She's running away from me. This demon must leave you. Amen. This demon must leave you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Come, brother. Can you see my brother is still in spirit here? Look, look at this one. He's, he's still in Switzerland. Brother, there's something funny about anointing. This man, this man, what you are seeing on him here, you he never thought it can happen to you. This 
There are some people that come here and they say, I've been prayed for. <laughs> this thing has never happened to me. <laughs> if the anointing hits you, you must know that it's not, it's not pastor. It's Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <laughs> you, you cannot... Ah, you cannot resist. You, brother, stand up. I'm a languid. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Eh? yes. You know you have mm. never fallen the way you're falling. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. So you're even quite, where do you come from? Amaskra. Amaskra. Yes. You are surprised the way you're falling. Yeah. You heard that? Because you know me falling this way. It's not all about Makaranisa. This is not Jesus Christ. It's the issue of Jesus Christ. Did you ever fall before? Listen to me. Eh? No. He has never fallen before. And are you coming here for the first time? No, for the second time. Second time. Third. Third time. Third time. But you are coming for the first time as a visitor. Yes. Just run there. Run there. Stop there. Fall down. In Jesus' name. Amen. God has delivered you. Amen. Come, my brother. God wants to anoint you. Stop there. Stop there. Stop there. There's a great anointing coming upon you. Amen. Amen. Take it. Amen. Take it. 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 Take it again. Ha ha. Take it to. You are anointed. You know, today you have received what we are having here. Look what he's doing there. Look at him. Ah, look at that, brother. You know, there is something that has happened to you. when you reach there. You kneel down. This is what I was teaching my people. I say, after you are laid there, don't just say, boom, I I'm going home. I'm going. After you lay here, sit down and begin to thank God. <laughs> look, look what he's doing there. <laughs> look what that man is doing here. You know, I wanted to show you that there is somebody here who visited us today. His name is Holy Spirit. Huh? Can I show you? Can you see my finger? Look when I wave it like this. Just like this. His name is what? Watch. The whole church, everywhere. I, I'm staring your gifts. I'm staring gifts by doing this. I'm staring. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Look here, look here. I'm inside you. I say, whatever that was hidden, people must see it this year. Oh, watch, 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 watch. What? Yo, I, hey! Phew. Pastors, can you see? 
that hidden gift, that suppressed gift, that hidden business, that hidden job. Can you look at your neighbor when I'm doing like this? Look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor. You know, when I'm doing like this here, I'm touching you. Because there's something that is in you that has been hidden for many years. There are some pastors when I'm touching them now. I'm seeing, I saw three pastors that I'm touching. Eh? Three pastors here that are God want to make them prophets, something like that. Yes, where are they? Let me see. Can you go away from that pastor? The pastor close to you there. God has touched that pastor. He's the one. Man. Go away from him. Go away from that pastor. Okay, can you just lift that pastor? Lift him up. Bring them out, those pastors. These are pastors. Look, if pastors are doing like this, what about a mere Christian? Put a mic in here, this one. I don't want. I don't want. What is it that you don't want? King is so sad. You don't want it to be a prophet. I want to be a prophet. Look at her. Ah, sister, sister. What, what's going on? How did you come there? Um, you, you were saying something about God raising prophets. <laughs> and and I, something just picked me and I fell and I, I don't know what happened. I, I heard something no speaking one. within me saying, Aginyak, Aginyak. You don't know what happened with me. No, sir. Look, no. stand up. Emily. You can't stand you. You are under anointing. Can you stand? Let me see how you stand. I'm analysis. Don't even touch her. Father, I touch her head. Come on, you demon. Leave a, can you put a mic on that pastor there? The one Wali Pondo. Today you are leaving my sister. You are you you Doro, you are leaving my sister. You leave my sister to prophesy. I say you leave her. Come on. Come on. You are leaving her. She's free also. Amen. I, because sometimes you find that the Holy Spirit is here. Want to work. But Holy Spirit leave you, you find your soul is here and demon is on top of you. 
So now when demons talk of his speak in tongues, it's like the Holy Spirit speaking, you don't know. But this demon must go so that the Holy Spirit will come to impart your, your spirit. Because the Holy Spirit cannot stay with the demon. But when the demon goes away, the Holy Spirit will feel the, the gap that Satan is trying to take. She's praying forever. Amen. Rise up, you are free. Yes. yes. Brother, even you, I saw you need deliverance, and God is going to use you. Eh? Amen. Yes, uh, congratulations. Let me just touch your stomach. Uh, let me touch, touch that stomach. I touch that stomach again. <laughs> Come out that, from that stomach. <laughs> Look, another one now. I'm praying for Pastor here. She is just turning around there. Pastor, touch you again. You're free. Thank you. You're free. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. What is I? Umawen. Who are you? Umawen. Who are you? Where are you going, Amma? Huh? I'm the aunties. Urakadiya. Yeah. Yes. We are. We are. We are. What do you want in here? I want to kill you. You see, we've made immediate pains. I'm sorry, sorry. You're pain. More, 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 more. Come on, bro. More the checking. She has feet. She couldn't even stand. Take out your things. In Jesus' name. Amen. Where are you working? You working. Uh, you're not working. Uh? Yes. God has blessed you with a job. Thank you, Lord. Oh my God. Listen. You're waiting for this day, my uh? Jesus. You're waiting for this day. Oh, thank you, Father. Oh, Jesus. God, thank you, Jesus. I've been crying, man of God. Listen, <laughs> God saw that you are crying. <laughs> stand up, stand up, my sister. Thank you, today, my today is your day. Thank you, Jesus. Can I tell you what happened to you? <laughs> huh? This problem you are having is coming from a friend. Oh my God. That they was used to tie you. You are tied. Oh. Nothing is moving. Yes, man of God, it's true. Don't worry, it's over. You are blessed. Oh. Stand up, my brother. Who said you are going to preach? The, my spiritual father. You say you are going to be a pastor? Yes. Huh? Yes. And then always you are trying to pray to find out if it's true. Yes. Huh? yes, I've been praying to God. Okay, yes. I've been praying to God to reveal more. To reveal more. Yes. Don't ask God to reveal more. God has done it for you. Amen. You are going to be a Come on. Lift him up. Stand up. Lift him. Come on. Come on. You're, you're anointed. Eh? Amen. This is not a demon. You're anointed. As a demon, you to reach. I saw a demon following you. Eh? Okay, yeah. My husband. He's your husband. Come. When did he marry you? It's long. Eh? 32 years. 32 years. Yes, past. This man is your husband because you say he's your husband. But when I'm looking at your marriage, your marriage is finished. It's not true. It's true. 
It's true. So he has been attacked this man. My attack, yes. Eh? Yes, Pastor. Even now you are just sitting together. You know, my lady, you more fail. Huh? Yes, it's huh? like that. You are just sitting together. Yes. In fact, you can do everything together. <laughs> but you cannot do of husband and a wife. Yes. Huh? That's, true. Okay, yeah. That's true, Pastor. You are coming here for the first time? No. You came it's here more before. than six times. Six times. And I visited for the second time. So they've attacked him. They've attacked him. Deliver him, Pastor. Huh? Deliver him. There's a demon that is following him. Yes. That makes him to, not to understand anything. Yes. That's, true. Huh? That's true. Sometimes you speak with him, it's like mm. you are offending him. Mm. Always. 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 So don't worry, sir. People who are fighting you must leave you now. But you are free. Look, Lorraine. Say, so stand up, stand up. Uh, you see, I'm on my visitors here. Some of them I'm seeing there for the first time. Many people, many people like him, he doesn't believe that he can fall. Is it not true? It's true. It's true. Yeah? It's true. You, you don't even believe you can fall down. Yes, I don't believe I can fall down. Huh? Yes. Why? I just feel like I won't away. fall. Even when people pray for you. No. When people pray for you, you don't fall. Yeah, I, don't, I don't fall when they pray for you. Falling is not the issue. Eh? Even if they lay hands on you, you don't fall, but there is something you receive. Okay. You are free. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. My name is Bella from Pumalanga. I was here last year in September. I met the apostle on one on one. I was suffering from kidneys and hypertension. He prayed for me. I'm now completely healed. Amen. My name is Pastor Bimbi Somoyo. I'm Pastor Moyo from Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Last time when I came here, uh, I met the man of God one on one. I had a problem of a leg ulcer I could not put on shoes. The man of God prayed for me and declared me you are healed. And today, as you see me, I'm putting on some tennis shoes. To the glory of God. I thank you, Lord. Sir, for the benefit of the ones that are here and the ones that are watching on TV, can you please show us on your leg where you had the ulcer? Show us where the ulcer was. You can take off your shoe and lift your trouser up so that we can see. The ulcer was here. The ulcer was here. I could not put on shoes, but now I am putting on some shoes. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen.
Greetings in the name of Jesus. I would like to thank God for what he has done for me. He has blessed us with a child and safe delivery. My pregnancy was complicated until I came to Charis Missionary Church. I came here as a visitor in December to meet the Apostle in a one-on-one -on -one session. He said to me, don't worry, everything is okay. And then January... In January, the 23rd week, I came again to the church. I bought Charis anointing water. On, or it was on a Saturday morning, then I experienced labor pains. I went to the hospital. They told me about that I have to be operated. I drank Charis anointing water. Before the doctor can even operate me, I was already given. The baby, is it a baby girl or a baby boy? It's a baby girl. It's a baby girl. Thank you, Jesus. She's here. Bring her, call her. Bawa nanam. Hi. You people here, you are coming here for the first time. Or I'm I'm see you for the first time. Or you came in a church. Now, now you are coming. So now only chile. My brother, is this lady your wife? Kimu sadwalena. Huh? When did you marry her? Okay. Recently. Eh? Recently. This lady is not happy. Mama about time. She's not happy about this issue of marriage, marriage issue. Eh? I know, me. You know. Get him. But do you think what? You are my visitor, but I don't want to shame you. Do you think what she's thinking is not true? Because uh, I don't know you. I'm just, I'm just shown a vision. I cannot tell everything about it. But the, the main aim here is to separate you. Because the life you were living before was a wild life. Is not true? That's true. Eh? That's true. So is that life over? Are you, are you free from that wild life? I'm free from it. Huh? Yes, I'm, I'm yeah, I from it. This lady you must sit down with her. And, and I affirm to her that you will never go back to your life. But she's afraid. It's not true. That's true. Huh? It's true. Uh, she is very much afraid of you. Even you are a very dangerous man. <laughs> it's not true. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. want to expose you here. <laughs> <Is it laughs> <not true? laughs> I don't know. I'm that no, I'm not sad to say. <laughs> but but let me use the word. You are a very dangerous man. <laughs> 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 yeah? It's not true. Because this lady is still afraid of She's suspecting you. That's, true. Huh? That's very true. Huh? That's very true. So I'm asking, did you finish the life? You were living? There's something she found. Which she bothers her a lot. Even when she, huh? That's true. Uh, it's not true, my sister. That's true. And and yourself you say. Do you know that God has brought you here in Charis just to make you a husband? Amen. Amen. I receive that person. I receive that person. He didn't call you to come here for Amen. business. Amen. The way you are thinking. Amen. Because in your heart here, you are here for business. Amen. 
God has called you here for your life. Your life. Yeah. 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 Because always you are fighting. Yeah. Yeah. It's not true, sister. It's true. Huh? It's and true. you are very tired. I am very tired. Okay, yeah. That's true. So God loves you. Huh? From today, the, this anointing that will come upon you, forgive him. You must forgive this man. What has happened to him is the upbringing the way he was he was treated badly he was telling he was treated badly and this has affected his character and it's not true that's very true that's very true so don't worry uh, from here you people here you are going to enjoy your marriage amen it's free And even when he was coming here, yes, you can look at him down there. He is coming with, I mean, you push him. Huh? That's from in the so you, you push him, the way you push him. The way you push him, the way you push him, you know what you were doing? That's what the Bible said, the wise wife build your own house. So today, your husband is free. And, uh, and he is also healed. And he is also healed. There is something that has happened, happened to him which I won't mention here. He is healed now. So you are free. Hug your wife. When I was standing here, I said, I came in more kitchen. Sometimes you can admire people. Can't you Satan is finishing them? Do, do you know what I'm saying? Many people, you are, you are admiring. But you are not giving them the respect. You are admiring. But you are not giving them the respect. You are not giving them the respect. You are not giving them the respect. You are not giving them the You, you. It is true, God wants to make you a leader, but right now you are a zero. Is it not true? Yes. Huh? yes. I can't hear. It's true. Huh? Yes. There is nothing that shows you are called. Yes. Huh? Yes. Because sometimes it's like you want to stop. Yeah. I can hear. Really? It's like you want to stop. You say, if God called me, why am I facing yes. all this? Yes. Huh? I can't hear. Yet. Yes. 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 God, God is raising you. Amen. Listen, there's a demon on you. There's a demon of stagnation on you. Yes. Because you've been praying. Now you can't even pray. Now. Yes, really. If I compare how you were praying I now, 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 now you're no longer praying. I'm huh? Really? You're yes. 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 God is restoring you. Yes. Oh my God. I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive. You demon, leave him. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Ah, oh, you spirit of stagnation. Thank you, Lord. On your side here. The, the kidneys now. Certain want to attack your kidneys. So that you get tired. When you are doing the work of God. Okay. Huh? Yes, that is happening sometimes. I know you are here to, be, to get impartation. Yes. Come to me. It can get. The, where is your husband? You. Because I saw you lonely. You are, eh? I don't have. You are lonely. 
And you are even asking yourself questions. Yeah, push, shall I push, eh? That's true, man. Because before, people used to come to you. But now, there's nobody. Come true. to me and take your husband. Come. <laughs> Let me tell Hey, you are blessed. It's your feet. You are healed. Stand up. You are healed. The problem you are having, your mom was having it. Your grandma was having it. It's like a generational care. You feel pain here. Yes. Eh? Mm. It's true. It's true. There's a pain here. Oh, you think I'm not? I'm lying. Okay, okay you are healed. Congratulations. Today is your day. It's by the grace of God you are a church like this. Because you, you church like this uh, is by the grace of God. Amen. It's true. It's true. Eh? It's true. Because you, you know, church like this. And you sit like church like this. Like this. Because Satan wants to keep you busy, busy, busy. You are busy with useless things. But when you move from here, God will open doors. I'm three doors. Number, number one Lama doors Lama is this money that is coming Lama to you. Amen. Yeah, listen. In your family, marriage is like a curse. People who are married, they always have problems. Always they are tucked down here. But today, I break this curse. Amen. There's a family that is even a curse. And that is against you. Everybody is against you. Is under a curse. Because you want to love everybody, but they don't understand you. The family of your husband. Yes. Yeah? They don't even understand you. You must pray for them. They, they are still going to come to search help for you. Amen. You. you hear what I'm trying to say? Amen. Because God has lifted you to be the leader that will save the whole. Amen. You will save the whole family. Thank you, Jesus. You, you will say, who is John? John. John. Yes, because I'm seeing John here coming together with this. Some people try to be against you. But I'm seeing the same John running to you for help. So the whole family will run to you. This is your Amen. Where is your wife? Mama, okay. There's a womb that has been tied. There. There's a womb, womb tied, and the child is coming. Because you've been crying to get the child. Yes, I can't it's hear. True. It's true, Pastor. Huh? Yes, I went Kidney. to a doctor after my fourth baby to try it, but he's been trying for another baby. But it's not, it's not agreeing. Uh, I say you have been trying to get a child. Yes, Papa. Huh? Yes, Pastor. Yes, the Apostle, I've been trying. Huh? We've discussed it. There's a child that is coming to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. <laughs> Can you see the child? You have been trying many things. You get a child, but you won't try anything. Tonight is your night. You have You are free. You are healed. Jesus. Jesus. Eh? Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I'm canceling high blood. Thank you, Jesus. High blood. You're free. Amen. Brother, God loves you. I see you changing from where you're staying to mid-range. Because God wants to lift your life. You have... Where's your brother? The older brother. 
Because I'm seeing him as a security man. Amen. Working in the night. Amen. Eh? Amen. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. God is giving him another job because of you. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Brother, look here. I'm referring to the one of ZCC. Huh? It's my brother. It's your brother. Yes. The, the big head. Yes. Huh? Um, yes. So I'm referring to him. We got a job. You are free. 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 Where is your friend? Uh, I think huh? at work. Even you, you are about to get a job. Eh? <laughs> It's like when you wake up, you find you are wet, serious wet here. It's true. This is something that doesn't even want to make you to visit. Come on. Your spiritual husband. Who are you? 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 Now you are thinking you are going to deliver. Never. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? You delivered the child. Now you want to deliver her. You can never do this. We destroy the job. The child is just a stupid person. They are all stupid. Oh, that's what you're doing. It's what you're doing. Yeah, you're doing. Yeah. It's what you're doing, the way you're doing it. I made you to separate with my child. You can never. my child so much. He thinks he's clever. In Jesus' name. Amen. God loves you so much. God loves you so much. God wants you to be a very rich man. Yes. Because in your mind, business, business. business, business, business. business. Huh? Yes, man of God. Huh? Yes, man of God. I have a business. That's what you are trying to do. Yes, yes man, man of God. God. But since you start to do this thing, it's like you have blocked someone. Yes, man of God. Yes, man of God. Because God has given you wisdom to make money. Yes, men of God. So this year, I'm seeing you coming here to give us a testimony here. Yes, men of God. Yes, men of God. Yes, men of God. You have been waiting, waiting, worrying. Why? Yes, men of God. Why I'm doing this? No way. Why I try this? No way. Yes, men of God. Yes, men of God. You have nearly given up. Yes, man of God. Yes, man of God. You, you have nearly, nearly. Because it's like a temptation to your faith. Yes, man of God. You have nearly given out of your faith. Yes, man of God. But today, God is honoring. Come on. Yes, man of God. Amen. Come on. Come on. Come on. Congratulations. Thank you. Amen. Thank you for it. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Be careful. Because you are followed with a misfortune. Be careful of this spirit. You are free. Stand up. Amen. Congratulations. God is delivering you. Put a mic in the mouth. 
Go. Come on. What are you doing there? What are you doing there? I was coming to you. There, there is a, a victory that is following you. But when it comes, you will move from where you are staying. Because not long you will say, ah, this place is not good for me. Go on to prosper you this day. You hear me? Yes, you are going to move from here. To you hear me? Yes. Where are you okay. waiting now? Huh? Government employees medical scheme. Don't worry. The increase is coming. Increase yeah. You'll move from here to stay. You're free. Be careful of accident. This is Come on. This is spirit of accident. Hold, hold it. Come on. Why do you want to let you make accident? Why are you going to do accident? Huh? I can't hear you. I say, why do you want to make why accident? Why are you going to do accident? I'm asking you. Why accident? Why accident? Huh? One three. One three. One three. She's troublesome. I can move back. 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 Why you don't want to? What's up, Matt? Why you don't want to? Why you don't want her? She's, she's too blessed. Too blessed, Ella. Too blessed, Ella. That's why you want to cause accident. That's why you could the accident. Yeah. Yeah. Leave her alone. Leave her. You're free. Look at the rain. Where is your wife? Mama, okay. You people, you need deliverance. Eh? You need deliverance. This year, this year, Amen. you will never fail. Eh? Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. I say you will never fail. Amen. Because there's a depth Amen. that I'm seeing. Yeah. Yeah. There's a depth that I'm seeing. So I want to cancel it. So that you live your life. You are free. Amen. Receive your joy. You are blessed. Uh, you are blessed. You are blessed. You are, blessed. You are all blessed. Thank you. Uh, Amen. Yeah. That's what we are saying. Come. Let me touch your chest. Where is your wife? Mama, okay. She's there, ma'am. Come. Look where she's running to. Look at 
You don't want to stay. Why you don't want to stay? Why? You have a demon. Eh? What I talk. What are you doing there? Eh? What are you doing there? Eh? It's not fair. What is not fair? Listen to him. Yes, yeah, but he uh, I listen to him. Uh? <laughs> I listen to him. Yeah, but he if you listen to this man, uh? if you listen to this man, this man is, we can use the word creative. This man is very much creative <laughs> and he's very strict. Very strict. Huh? Very strict. Never strict. Huh? He's very strict. But and short temper. Okay, yeah. Very strict and short temper. And short temper. No <laughs> short temper. No short temper. The issue is you you need to listen. And stand with him. Because most of the time, whatever you say, you feel like it's pressurizing. Huh? Yes. And this is bringing Satan to your marriage. It's not not pressurizing. He loved to plan, plan, plan. And love to show you, okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Because he's speaking, it's not like a person who just do things. Because he tells you, you people must stand together. So that you build because it's the plan of God to make you to be together. Huh? Thank you. You hear what I'm trying to say? Yes, so listen to him. It is true that when it, you don't listen, you feel like you feel like something. You feel like it's, you're not listening. That's why maybe you say, let's do it. That's why we're not And to yourself, it means something else. So this year, wow. this marriage year will be a blessing. Oh, thank, thank, you. You thank you so much. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? <laughs> Why are you doing like this? He's expecting something from somewhere. I'm just hoping. Maybe That's what I'm away. talking about. No, yeah, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> but, but when you say let's do one, two, three, what do you Mara, say? One, two, three. sitting forward. Uh, this lady must be serious. Uh, you, yes. Uh, you hear me? Yeah. Which church are you going? Yeah. Huh? 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 JNF. JNF. Yes. You must be serious. You are not serious. I'm serious, Murine. I'm not trying to curse. You must be very, very serious. Genev is a good church. Genev uh, But you must be serious. You, you are not serious. You are not serious. Ali serious, Lin. Because it's like everything you are pushed to do. To look out for local Ali, happily. Pushed to do. Even your prayer life is finished. Lebo pilo bali na bata pelo bo fedil. And that's why Satan wants to destroy you. That's why Satan na nyakoli fedish. You hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yes. You know, you can't pray now. You can't pray. Even to take the Bible, you want to study it's a problem. You people here, you are the one who make churches which are alive. 
like they are not alive. Just to take the Bible to you, you say what to study the word of God. It's a problem. Huh? I understand. Huh? I'm, I'm hearing you. You are hearing me? You are hearing me say what? Do you know why God brought you here today? Huh? You don't know? Can you see your, your blood is boiling? Huh? Your blood boils and your heart began to beat fast. It's not true. Huh? So this can kill you. Do you think people are happy about the progress you are having? I want you to be serious with God. Huh? You hear what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Huh? Because you're in the right church, you must the pray. Can write, the man. And I tell yourself, okay, I'm here. I want to serve God. You, you, go show my heart. Heart. you pray, you pray, you la pray. La and see what God will do for you. This enemy is moving. Sometimes your waist here it gives you many problems. It's like it hot. hot. Huh? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yes. That's true. Okay, that's true. But you must be serious with God. Because there's a plan of the enemy against you. If, if you're not serious here, Satan serious. will do whatever he wants to do. Satan and this will embarrass some people. And there are people who trust you so much. much. There are some people who trust you so much in your family. That you are holding God, you are holding God. So, but they will end up looking like you are, you are That's playing. That's the reason why people are attacking you now. That's why you are attack. You hear me? Amen. But by me telling you this, you are free. But when you go back to your church, yeah? be serious. Even serious. Allow Holy Spirit to work in you there. You don't need to change your church. You are in a real place. God loves you. So God loves you. Amen. I, because if I won't tell her, and, and uh, this problem here, especially this waste here, is going to increase. From there, she will feel like this church does not have. Uh, and from there, she will begin to move, like when she came here. She began to move with church here because she has started to do it. This church here, by me coming here, she's not coming here. She has been somewhere that I won't mention. Trying to search for healing. But now she's healed. She must, she must be able to maintain the healing. By, by, by prayer, being serious, committed in the house of God. But when I look at her, um, uh, I found that this is the plan of the enemy. If not, the whole people will say, look, she ran away from God, uh, from God now. That is the plan of the enemy there. You hear me, my sister? Eh? Uh, she was I must be serious in the church. Uh, because we're not, uh, even worship is a problem. No, to me even, saying, even when you are standing there no more to chan. pray is a problem. Uh? Are you hearing me? Uh, you, you belong to, to GNF. Huh? Yeah. Uh, 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 we don't love funerals. We want everybody to live long. So, uh, 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 to judge you because after I, I'm looking around here, God said you're the only one who's having worse problems. Because of, when you go to the doctor, they say diabetic. When you do this, yeah, it's a hot year. Here your kidneys are burning. So there are many, many things that are happening that anything can happen to you. So, but now, don't be, don't be afraid. To speak with you, I'm telling you. Now, now, now as we are here, you are healed. 
but I'm speaking with you Nkuluma with nawe. one reason Nyengaya so that one. you go and maintain this healing because, because the situation can look. be worse than this if you don't, don't hold on. Are you hearing me? God bless you. And you know when I was speaking here, if I didn't speak with this sister, she was supposed to have gone. You wanted to go. So now because I've spoken <laughs> with Amen. Greetings in the name of Jesus. There were two sick people in my family. The first one is my elder brother. He had a pain that was terrible for many, many years to such an extent that he will even fail to do his work. I came here to the church, I bought anointing water, I gave it to him to drink, and now he is healed. The other one is my elder sister who was bedridden. She was also experiencing diarrhea and she also she couldn't do anything. She was sick when she was in Mokopani. I came to the church, they gave me their prayer line number. I SMSed it at home so that they can call the prayer line to be prayed for. Indeed, they did likewise. They called the church, she was prayed for, and now she is healed, she is even able to walk. I thank God for that. I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor John Batista. I come from Madagascar Island. It's Miss Monday. My testimony is, I have three testimonies of healing. Since two years, I have been having problem of eyes. I, and they booked me for operation. I could not even read my Bible. But when I came here, I met our daddy. She told me, you will not be operated. Don't go for operation. God will heal you. It was on Thursday. After he prayed for me. On the night when I wake up to pray. I discovered that I can read my Bible again. The second testimony. I was having pen on my side. More than 20 years. The doctor could not see anything. So when I came here, Apostle said, I saw you have problem in your side. But God will heal you. The pain was so much that uh, I have stopped taking soft drink. But after the prayer of Thursday, I'm starting taking soft drink. I am here. The third testimony was on the service of Friday. One of the prophets came to me and said, you have problem of cramp. But God has healed you. I testify that it is true. I used to have cramp, especially when I was doing dry fasting. I will not be able to 
raise very well my, my leg. But from now, everything has gone. I give glory all to God and I thank God for this commission. And the Lord bless the apostle and all the Amen. members. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Greetings in the name of Jesus. On the 4th of February, I was involved in an accident and my car was damaged. Now I'd like to thank God for preserving my life. Last week I had a knee problem. I couldn't walk. Maraka Friday kile kata kireke and one of the prophets will unravel la kahona osepe la grata ola bwa mudimu la ufungwalela ka. On Friday I was here in the church and one of the prophets prayed for me and now I would like to thank God for the healing that He has given me. I would like to greet everybody in the name of Jesus. Last week I came here, they were holding me on both sides because I was blind. When I got here, they prayed for me. Now I am healed and I can see again. Uh, mama, Mama, my eyes became blind on Saturday when I was taking a decision to come and fellowship here. Uh, and then Sunday, Rekizora, and then Matwaka Abawes, Asinaka, Kurgas Hono, Bona Se, Lolita Pronegasa Honi. So Maramopinaka, I put a hore. Kitodera plan or Kesiplike, Kirkin, Saturn is a liar. On Sunday, my eyes became worse, and in my heart, I just told myself that Satan is a liar, I must go to church. I took my, small, my smallest child and told him or her to hold me by my hand to come to the church. So, and then when we got to the gate, my child turned back and they helped me to enter the church. I was only seeing the people who were near me, I couldn't see far. So, and then. After the service, I was just seated on a chair and I was wondering where am I going to go because my eyes were closed. So, one of the pastor and then unrapped like a big right in Nokia, one of the girls, oh, mama. Oh, for the leg, oh, Tomilo, one of the guys, you know, you know, you know, Glory to Jesus. I couldn't see at all and they organized one of the pastors to come and pray for me. And instantly after the prayer, I started seeing and I was able to go home on my own. Jesus. I started to be sick in 2013. But the doctors they couldn't find what was wrong with me. But uh, finally, bone marrow cancer. So in 2014, towards the end of 2014, 
Towards the end of 2014, I came with my wife to the church. My situation was so bad that I couldn't even walk or do anything. Uh, the, first, the first thing uh, prophet Hafita before Abula service. When I arrived here, the first thing when the, that the apostle did uh, before he can start to preach. He said there is somebody here with cancer. That person doesn't have appetite and he's even losing his memory. I came forward, Apostle prayed for me, and he said, you are healed. So from 24, 20, 2050, ever since then, I've been using Charis anointing water. So last, last, week, for last week Friday, Nekile go to Teng as my routine checkup. On Friday, I went to the doctor just to do a checkup. So I give Fitla go to Teng, Dr. Mpotara, my blood is clear. As I'm talking to you right now, they said my blood is clear, the cancer is no longer there. They had said unto me that I can never walk without being helped by anybody, but now I am able to walk on my own. They had said that the cancer has destroyed all my bones in my body. Hallelujah. Now I can walk very well and even if I want to rush, I can even run. Hallelujah. My second testimony is that uh, uh, since 2013, by discharge, I come 17. My second testimony is that ever since 2013, I was laid off at work. After the report of the doctor concerning my bones, uh, January this year they called me. In January this year they called me. progress report, doctor. They said they are looking for the progress report from the doctor. So I gave it to them. So They called the doctor. Doctor, The doctor cleared me that I can go back to work. So two months. Now it's been two months that I am back at work. I'm thanking God for what He has done for me. Amen. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm Nkateko from Zanin. It's only three weeks I'm coming here. On Wednesday, the apostle said that those who are not working receive your jobs. So I received the job. Now God has blessed me with a job. Yeah. Same. There was something that was bothering me in my stomach. I bought anointing water. I drank it. When I'm sleeping, I would feel something moving. Even at the back. I prayed. I would drink that anointing water every day. Now I feel okay and I'm thanking God for that. Thank you. Amen. So praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, I have a few testimonies, but I will try to be as short as possible. The first testimony uh, in August last year, the apostle made a declaration that uh, we will experience uh, dead cancellation. And three weeks later, uh, Tswane Municipality cancelled a debt that I had with them of over 15,000. And the second testimony, 
Apostle prophesied to me. Mapostole ileba mprophet and told me that I have a sister who is a sangoma. Bar gonna ke na le seswe lo re ngobe a dira tshetsa bongaka. But he said to me I will be the one to deliver her. Bar gonna e tla ba e le wena e lo o ka molokolola. So he prayed for me and anointed me. Ba ile ba nthapelela ba ntlotsa. I went back home to my sister's place. Ke ile ka boela ga e kua la peng la sesiaka. I prayed for her. She was delivered. And now she knows how to read the Bible. She is 100% born again. Hallelujah. Amen. The third testimony is that in January the 25th, January the 25th, in Sunnyside, Kuwa Pretoria Sunnyside. Uh, people broke into my car and stole my laptop and my iPad. Um, there were no witnesses whatsoever. So I ran back home and I took the anointing water. And I started praying to the God of TB Joshua and to the God of Apostle Makananis. And said that I made a declaration to say that before the sun go down, I must have my stuff back. By the grace of God, before the sun, before the sun went down, I, I received a call. And to make a long story short, I have my laptop and my iPad. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, the last testimony is that I applied for a contract with, with a certain company in Ferenaghe. But the requirement was that we should have, or the contractors should have at least a minimum of two trucks. I didn't even have a baki. However, by the grace of the Lord, the God who qualifies the unqualified, I got the contract. And now I'm employing people who had the trucks. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Keep watching, Charis.